Welcome to this ASP.NET Core Data Grid Control Tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to use data annotations to customize auto-generated columns in the Syncfusion ASP.NET Core Data Grid. To customize the auto-generated columns, you can use data annotation attributes like display, display format, key, and editable. First, I'll open the existing ASP.NET Core Web application where I have added the data grid control. I have also bound order data to the grid control using the data source property. I've added the grid columns tag to customize columns. To learn more about integrating the data grid component into an ASP.NET Core Web application, please check the getting started video attached to the card above and the description below. Let me run this application by pressing the F5 key. See, the grid is rendered with columns order ID, customer name, and more. To enable automatic column generation, I'll comment out the eGrid columns tag. As a result, the data grid control will render with columns automatically generated based on the fields defined in the order details mata class. Look, the data grid renders with auto generated columns based on the order's data source. Next, I'll show you how to customize the auto generated columns by utilizing data annotation attributes such as display, display format, key, and editable. These attributes serve multiple purposes, including defining the column header text, formatting cell values, and designating the primary key column. First, I need to specify the type of data bound to the grid control to work with data annotation. So, I declare the variable type and get the type object for the order details model class using type of operator. Next, assign this type object to the grid control using T value property. To enable data annotations, I'll navigate to the controller page and add the system component model data annotations namespace, which effectively maps the annotations to the corresponding data grid column properties. Let me show you how to use the display attribute within the order details model class fields to customize the display of a column in the data grid. The display attribute offers customization properties such as name, short name, order, and more. I'll start with the name property used to customize the display name in the grid column header. In this example, I'll set the name property to customer name in the display attribute for the customer ID field. See, the header text has now changed to customer name. Notice that the format of the freight and order date columns is not proper. Next, I'll demonstrate how to utilize the display format attribute within the fields of the order details mata class. This attribute controls the formatting of data displayed or entered in a field, including aspects such as the number of decimal places, currency symbols, and date and time formats. In this specific scenario, I'll apply the display format attribute to the freight and order date fields. Set the data format string parameter to C2, indicating that the value should be formatted as a currency value with two decimal places. Also, apply the display format attribute to the order date field. Set the data format string parameter to YMD, indicating that the value should be formatted as year, month, and day. Notice the data grid, the freight column now displays currency values with precision, and the order date column now displays year, month, and day values. Next, I'll show you how to use the key attribute within the order mata class. The key attribute defines the primary key for entities within a data model. When applied to a property or field in the model class, the key attribute signifies that this particular property uniquely identifies each entity in the data grid. To clarify the purpose of the key attribute, I enable editing by adding the grid edit settings tag. 
and setting the allow editing property to true. Moving on to the controller's order details class, I set the key attribute for the order ID property. Check the data grid. The order ID column is non-editable because it has been assigned as the primary key using the key attribute. Finally, let's see how to use the editable attribute within the order details model class. This attribute is a useful option to indicate that a property or field should only be used for reading data and should not be updated or modified. To implement this, I set the editable attribute to false for the freight property. As a result, the freight column can only be read but cannot be modified. Let me show you what happens when I attempt to edit the first record. You'll notice that the freight column remains unmodifiable due to its read-only status. If you wish to make the freight column editable, set the editable attribute to true. In this video, I covered how to customize auto-generated columns in the ASP.NET Core Data Grid using data annotations. Additionally, I showed you how to use attributes such as display, display format, key, and editable. You can download a working example from the GitHub link shared in the description below. You can also see if you're eligible for our community license, which will get you a free license key to use our products. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please like and subscribe to our channel.